So after months of waiting, the Ghana Football Association has officially released the verdict on the match-fixing scandal between Ashanti Gold and Inter Allies, which saw Ash Gold defeat Inter Allies by 7 goals to 0 in match day 34 of the 2021 Ghana Premier League season. And well, these two clubs, Ash Gold and Inter Allies, have been both demoted to the Division 2 as well as some officials of the club who have been slapped with 10 years ban and a lifetime ban and as well as some players which include Asante Kotokos, Richmond Lamte who has been handed a 2.5 or a two and a half year ban by the GFA disciplinary committee following their investigations into the matter and I can't wait to bring you all the gist here on Sports Update Ghana. You know what to do? Please subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. So well, how do we arrive at this stage? Well, on 17th July 2021, Ashanti Gold played Inter Allies in March the 34 of the Ghana Premier League 2020-21 season at the Obwasi Lincoln Stadium. After the match, there were several reports within the local and international football space that the match was fixed to fulfill a scoreline which was 5 goals to 1 in favour of Ash Gold. Well, the match eventually ended by 7 goals to 0 against Inter Allies. A video extract of the match circulated on various social media platforms showing a player of Inter Allies deliberately scoring two own goals and also showed a lackluster attitude by players on the field of play. Sports Radar, a Swiss-based international company with experts in fraud detection system, reported that there was a strong case of pre-match betting and telltale sign of fraud on the said match. This led the GFA Compliance and Integrity Office together with the GFA prosecutors to open investigations into the matter with accordance to the Ghana Premier League regulations. Preferred charges were labeled against the two clubs, which is Inter Allies and Ashgood SC by the disciplinary committee. So what are the punishments that the GFA have placed on Ashanti Good. Well, the club has been demoted to the Division 2 League and have been charged to pay a fine of 100,000 cities. Their club president, that is Dr. Kweku Frimpo, have also been slapped with a 10-year ban and to stay away for all football-related matters and has been slapped with a fine of 100,000 cities for match manipulation. As to if he will pay this, well, I don't know. But his son, Emmanuel Frimpo, who is also the CEO of Ash Good, has also been slapped with a ban of 10 years and a fine of 15,000 cities. Ashanti Good coach Thomas Gia and his assistant Eidu Hamed, who were the coaches at that time, have also been slashed with 24 months ban. Ashanti Good players have also been banned 30 months, which is equivalent to two and a half years, and it includes players Ousu Benahini, Ampim Da Costa, Frank Akutu, a Japan Isaac Opoku, Amos Nkrumah, Eric Esso. Set Osei, Moses Kwame, and Solomon Efriye. For players and officials of Ashgood who were invited but failed to appear before the committee, they have been banned for 48 months. And it includes players like Emmanuel Owusu, Mohamed Baliu, Amos Adai, Paul Asari, and Nana Kwisi Darling, who is the sporting director of Ashanti Good. Well, for Interallies FC, the punishments that have been slashed on them includes demotion to the Division 2 League at the end of the 2021-2022 Division 1 League season where they play in Division 1. So Inter Allies currently play in the Division 1 League. So after this season, they will go back or they will go to the Division 2 League where they will be serving their punishment. Well, they have been charged to pay a fine of 100,000 cities as fine imposed on Inter Allies. For their coach, Felix Abuaji, and the team manager of Inter Allies, Ruben Ajeti, they've been banned from taking part in any football-related activity for the period of 24 months. For players banned for a period of 24 months and two years, it includes the likes of Mohamed Zakari, Richard Aqua, Shabil Tofik, and Felix Abusika. Richmond Lamte of Asante Kotoko and formerly of Inter Allies FC has also been banned for a period of 30 months by the disciplinary committee of the Ghana Football Association. Fad Ibrahim has been banned 24 months plus a further ban of 12 months for placing bets on multiple matches and competitions on his phone. So when Fad uh, Ibrahim was invited 
to appear before the committee, he was asked to bring his phone. And after he brought his phone, they found out that the player has been staking bets. And last week, the GFA General Secretary said that players who are found betting on the game will be punished severely. And so he has not only been uh, banned for 24 months, but he has been given an additional 12 months for staking bets on games. So for um, Inter Allies president, that is Emmanuel Ni Amwa, aka Ni Gogo, he has been handed a lifetime ban on all football related activities with immediate effect. So Emmanuel Ni Amwa played an instrumental role in all these match facing allegations, and I'll bring you up to speed on it on another episode. But let's go on. Well, other players and officials of Inter Allies were also invited, but they failed to appear and they have been handed a 24 months ban by the committee and it includes players like Dansori Dumensa, Alex Asso, Abdul Kadir Mohamed, Issa Ali, Daniel Ope and boys Joseph McQuay who is the goalkeeper's trainer at Inter Allies. Well for the whistleblower Hashmin Musa who scored two deliberate own goals against his own club that is Inter Allies. Well the GFA handed him a 24 months ban but after helping the GFA to investigate the matter, the GFA has reduced his 24 months ban to 6 months ban by the GFA uh, regulations. So the players who have been banned and unfortunately they don't play in the Ghana Premier League anymore, the GFA says that well, they will hand over every information which includes the punishment to FIFA to make sure that these players serve they are banned and are not allowed to play any football in any country where they are currently in. So for uh, Hashmin, who was the whistleblower, he currently plays for a club in uh, Niger. So the GFA will ensure that uh, their directive to FIFA is adhered to and ensure that players who are serving the ban are not allowed to engage in any football related activity. So clearly these are the punishments that the GFA have handed both Inter Allies and Ashanti Gold for bringing the game of football into disrepute after their match facing game that saw Inter Allies lose by seven goals to zero in a very hilarious and ridiculous game that was played in match day 34 of the Ghana Premier League. So that is it for this edition of Sports Update Ghana. Make sure you like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.